In Windchill, you can define preferences for how you want the system to behave, and these are very much like configuration options. In order to access the preferences, you go to Quick Links in the upper right-hand corner of any page, then you go down to My Settings, and here we have Preferences, and it will come up with a page with a long list of options inside of here. I'll just expand a few just to show you that there are lots of different ones in here and if you are new to Winchell, you're not going to be familiar with the different options that are available that's why they have a great find in tree field that you can use in order to search for various different preferences i'm going to go through a few here ones that i like to use so for example one thing is whenever i check in i want to make sure that objects are automatically associated to WT parts. So I'm going to search on the keyword associate. And I'll hit the enter key. And I can see right now here I'm under security. We can use the drop down list in order to find other different ones in here. And we can see again, all these ones have the word associate. Let me try changing the term in here. Auto associate. Filter it down a little bit. And now Okay, operation, check-in, operation, auto-associate upon check-in. That is set to no. I do want it to auto-associate upon check-in. So I can right-click on here and choose set preference. And we can see here right now the value is no. Let me choose yes over here. Then I can click the OK button. There is the option here to revert to the default. The default in this case is no, but again, I want it to be changed. So again, right click, set preference, set it to the value that you want, add a comment if you want. I'll be honest, I never do that. And then click the OK button and that preference is set. Be aware right now I'm doing this from a standalone web browser. You do not have to do any kind of save for the different preferences. They're saved automatically. And when I make the changes here in the standalone web browser, they will be automatically applied all across Windchill, regardless of whether I'm doing it in a standalone web browser or from the embedded browser inside of Creo Parametric. And regardless of where I am doing this, whether it's from one computer or a, another computer. Okay, let's take a look at some other options in here. While I'm here under check-in operation, here we have the option to undo the checkout of objects after the check-in. Hey, maybe I want to change that. So once again, I can set preference. You can drag this dialog box and make it wider if you want to be able to see more of the information about this. And yeah, they, I haven't modified it. Go ahead and change the status from checked out to checked in or basically remove the checkout status. Let's click the OK button out of here. All right, let me show you some other different ones in here. And again, you can sometimes just scroll in here and look for the ones that you want. And in this case over here, let me go back and collapse a few of the ones that we have. And so I'm looking for one regarding promotions. So I can't find the one that I want. Again, make heavy use of the search in here so let's find ones that are related to promotion and here we have promotion process i'm going to expand inside of here here we have the collector and whenever i promote something i want to make sure that i'm grabbing the related wt parts as well so let me scroll down in here and look at the different options okay here we have include related parts again right click set preference the default is set to none. And I'm going to say, hey, let's grab the all for the parts in here. Allow you to specify which parts are associated to the collected documents, CAD documents, etc., and so on. Or maybe I want to say, hey, just for the initially selected object only, and then when the person is grabbing the related objects, then they can make sure which WT parts are going to be collected as well. Let's click OK out of there. And similarly, let me find something for the revise operation as well. I want to make sure whenever I do a revise, I am grabbing the related parts. So let's find include related parts. 
default is none. Let's change that as well to initially selected only and click the OK button to specify that. That should be grabbed as well. I'll see another one that is popular. Whenever you add objects to a workspace, some people want them locked by default. So let's look for the keyword lock. And here we have it came up under the search group. That's not what I want. So again, we can go down here until we find the ones that we want. Visualization, workgroup manager client. Ah, workspace. Okay, here we have the option. Automatically lock all objects added to the workspace. Again, we can set the preference, change that to yes, so that way something won't be accidentally modified. Someone's going to have to check an object out in order to make changes to it, and they're going to be uh, notified of that. Also, we have this option here for smart lock objects in workspace. Another related object, or excuse me, option. And again, you can expand this over here. Right now, the value is set to none. You can change that value over here to read only if you want to. So a, another good option to be aware of. Let's take a look at one last option in here. Actually, it's right over here. I don't need to search for it. If you want to use frames in the workspace, you need to change the workspace frame stack size. And frames in a workspace are sort of like an undo and redo button in your workspace for applying actions to different objects. And by default, the value is set to zero. If you want to be able to use workspace frames, this needs to be set to some value other than zero. So I will set it to 10. And that way, when I next go into my workspace for different operations, I'll be able to undo and redo various different workspace actions. So that is how you can set preferences. And again, you get to it from quick links, my settings and preferences. And once you make a change to the setting, it's automatically saved and applied for you throughout Windchill. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.